Good morning. God bless you. Welcome to The Stand. It's another day. This is day two in our journey and in our meditation and prayer as we look at C. You know, such a powerful word, just one word, C. And yet it's got all kinds of ramifications in the realm of the spirit. So it's good to be here, I'm sure I did say, and I am glad to be a part of your lives this morning and especially to bring you into this space. It's been an exciting time. And um, yesterday we did pray some very important prayers. And today we're going to be continuing as well. So right now I want you to bring your friends into this space. This is the moment for you to bring them in and say, hey guys, something is happening. This is your wake up call. So while that is going on, as usual, we'll be reminding ourselves of the reasons why we pray. Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, this is The Stand. I'm Shala Desi. A joy to be here and to be your guide as we journey in the Word and we also spend time with the Father in prayer. Well, we'll be worshiping God with a song. Um, it's a lovely song. It's a song that I know many of you know. And it just simply says, you're beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Our Father is beautiful beautiful i mean when you behold the beauty of the lord you truly will be amazed he's such a beautiful savior and so today we sing you're beautiful heaven and earth adore you and angels bow before you you are beautiful somebody just give the lord a smile just a smile oh god <laughs> This will remain with you forever. His goodness. Where can I go? 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 Heaven and earth adore him. And just bow before him. He's beautiful, it's beautiful. Heaven and earth adore him. And just bow before the Lord is beautiful. It's beautiful. Heaven and earth, yeah. Heaven and earth adore him. And just bow before him. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Does somebody believe that? Heaven and earth adore him. And just bow before him. He's beautiful. It's beautiful and when we shut up what to say oh
voices alone. Heaven and earth adore you. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Let's sing together. Heaven and earth. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow. Angels bow before you. Yes, you are beautiful. You Two are more beautiful. Time. Heaven and earth adore you. You are beautiful. What a beautiful savior. What a beautiful friend. And what a beautiful king we have. Our God is beautiful. Father, we want to thank you for today and thank you for this time. We truly honor you and give you praise and thanks for everything that you do and for all that you are. You alone are worthy of our praise and we lift you up and bless your holy name today and i thank you for everyone that's joined us even this morning to you alone be the praise for all that will come to pass in their lives in the name of jesus well if you just joined us this is the stand and i don't know if you were there yesterday but it was such a wonderful time um but i, I want to continue from where we left off yesterday we were looking at vision impairment um from the natural perspective and looking at you know the fact that there are over 400 people who are blind globally who are completely vision impaired and cannot move around or navigate their courses um without some kind of aid we looked at proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 and it shows us um the reasons why people are lazy people cast off restraint uh people can be sluggish people can live a careless reckless life and it points to the fact that it is a vision where there is no vision the people perish and we we began to look at the compelling power of vision and began to pray from there when we were closing and we you know the the, the launch part for praying we were looking at bartimaeus um blind bartimaeus as he's generally called but he really was bartimaeus the son of timaeus and we find his story um jesus was speaking and he was talking about you know on the way to jericho here comes this man who had been blind in mark chapter 10 um just running to him and saying have mercy upon me and when somebody says have mercy upon me um, in biblical times you don't know what he's really talking about that mercy must be defined and so jesus would ask him and say look what do you want me to do before then people said shut up and he you know just kept screaming at the top of his voice um, and Jesus stopped him and said, what do you want me to do? And the response was that I may see. I just, I just want to see. I just, I just want to be able to see. I'm, I'm tired of, of bumping aimlessly at objects. I'm, I'm tired of depending on other people to navigate my life. I'm, I'm tired of begging. I'm tired of just depending on other people completely. I want to see. I, and, and once I'm able to see, if you understand, um, those who couldn't see, um, couldn't have a means of livelihood. And so they were at a disadvantage. This guy had something, um, that was pushing him within, um, saying, look, you, you're more than this. You, you, you truly can make a meaning of your life but he realized that vision was important and i know that we may be relating to these things um, naturally but we began to pray from a spiritual perspective that i may see and i want us to begin um by praying this um morning and I, I want us to pray that the father will open our eyes to see how we can better serve 
um, whether it's in your local assembly or better serve humanity. You know, our lives can't just be lived for ourselves alone. It's, it's called selfishness. Selflessness is when you're willing to give, when you're willing to serve. It, it is selflessness that we see in the life of the person, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, who gave it all up. I mean, his years on earth were, were years of selflessness. He, he was ministering to people he was a blessing to humanity when people were hungry he didn't ignore you know just gloss over their hunger when people were dead he had compassion upon them and he raised the dead i mean his life he gave up all that he had until he had nothing else to give you know and, and that shows us um the role of our father because when jesus died on the cross of calvary it was a demonstration of god giving us his best i mean that was the best that heaven had the son of god the lamb of god made manifest in the flesh giving it all up in service to humanity. Now, your life will be without meaning if you do not serve. Service is not the key to greatness. Service is greatness. And we must have a vision for service. You may belong to a local assembly. Are you serving? You know, sometimes it, it appears like the only service some people offer in a local assembly is the service of um, keeping the seats warm, you know, and, and I, I, don't, I don't know where that fits in, but you're called to serve humanity. You're called to serve in your local assembly. You're called to serve in your places of work. When you go to work, um, do you see yourself as serving the purposes of God through um, in, in the lives of other people, through what you do? Do you even see your assignment there as service? I know that you're paid at the end of the month, but we must have a service mentality. We must serve humanity we must serve in our homes so i want us to pray and our prayer is lord i want to see how i can better serve um, serve you in community at home in my local assembly in my nation we need people who would sacrifice and give themselves up to offer their service to nationhood can we just lift up our voices and say father help me to see how i can better serve you how can I serve you better, Father? How can I serve you better, Rebo Shakatala? Rebo Sekele Brege Shiketo Sakala Braga Shakataya. Open my eyes to see. Somebody may say, Well, I'm already serving God. Yeah, but you can serve him better. Rebaga Sakata, you can serve him in better ways. Reboga Siketo Shakala Braga Sakataya. Open my eyes to see how I can serve you better. Le Braga Baga Shakataya Kalabrega Siketo Shakala Prakataya. Mgele Brega Begedo Sakaya Braga Shakataya Galabrada. Le Baga Sakataya, that's good vision. Le braga sakataya, that's great vision. How can I serve you better? Le braga shukutosa galabraje galebregedosa ye kelebregebege shukutosa brada galabuza gataya mengelebregebegedosa kaya kalabregebegedosa kalabaga shakataya. Oh Lord, reba zakataya galabregebegedosa kalapata mengelebregebegedosa kaya baga shakataya kalabregedeya le galebregebegedosa kalabaga shakataya. We all have an assignment to serve the purposes of God in the lives of people. Father, how can I serve you better? In my community, what contribution can I make? Life is made for donation. What donation can I make? Rebo 
you can have a vision for your community you can have a vision for where you dwell rabu sakatala brigade ya kalataya Engel brega begedusha kala brega baga sakatala brigedusha helping young people of the streets ye gala braga baga shakataya by giving them a platform for expression developing their skills is a vision it is serving god re baga shakataya kala brega sekitosha we need to understand that even when we serve men we're serving god we're serving the purposes of god through men re baga sakatala help me to know how i can serve my church better how i can make significant donation i know that you've made contributions of service but yet you can increase you can serve better hallelujah father we thank you oh lord this is a heart's desire remo shakataya let us not get tired remo shakataya remo Kataya Kalabusa Kataya, help us to see. Show us how we can serve you better with our lives. Reba Jakataya Kalabrega Seketu Shakalabaga Sakatala. Remo Zeketu Shakalabraga de Galabusa Kataya. We thank you, Father. We give you praise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you just joined us, good place to join. Um, and, and we still are towing, you know, this very significant path. We're looking at the word C and we're diving in to understand the power of a compelling vision. You know, C is a command and not a suggestion and i think it's important for us to begin you know and to look at that today that whenever we see c in the scripture god isn't making or giving you a suggestion it is a command and what that means is that you must see you must have a vision for your life you cannot be blind you must see you must have a vision you must see the future you must see that which eye has not seen you must hear that which ear has not heard you must speak the frequency of heaven in the name of jesus you must be able to hear the sound of a distant drummer you must be able to see 20 years from now see 30 years years from now you know if we were able to see 20 years from now naturally we will live differently naturally we're going to apply ourselves to life differently the reason why we are often careless about the way we live is because we are limited in vision i was reading from proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 yesterday and it says where there is no vision the people have no sense of direction and they lose their reason for living do you know one of the reasons and not just the only reason but one of the uh, major reasons why people will seek to commit suicide is because they have no vision they cannot see a better tomorrow um they would jump off a bridge they would drink all kinds of poison and some would even slice their own throats and put a gun to their heads because once you cannot see a better tomorrow once you do not have a clear picture or of tomorrow it becomes easy for you to consider taking your own life so the antidote to um, the desire to take one's life is vision 
Where there's no vision, the people will cast off restraint and become undisciplined. The people will live purposeless, meaningless life if there is no vision. And so, this season, you must see. That's a command. It's not a suggestion. And I stand here as an oracle of God saying, you must see and you will see clearer than you've ever done before. You will see further than you've ever seen before. You will see a compelling vision. It will swallow you up in your spirit in the name of Jesus. It will propel you like a rocket to the moon. It will cause you to reach out to possess the things that you once thought were not possible to possess. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Hallelujah. I want us to look a little at the vision that Joseph had. I simply want to put it as the vision in a dream because the scripture tells us that Joseph had a dream and he had two dreams. Genesis chapter 37 verse 5. Now Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers and they hated him even the more. Now let me tell you this, that there are vision killers everywhere. There are vision helpers, those who are sent by heaven to help you fulfill your dreams, those who will not be um, intimidated by your dream. And, and I hope that I'll be able to show you why people get easily intimidated and, and, and become enemies of those who are visionary in nature, those who I would say have a vision in a dream. And I'll show you. So his brothers hated him. And, and he said to them, please hear the dream which I've dreamed. There we were binding sheaves in the field. And then behold, my sheave arose and also stood upright. And indeed your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheaf. And his brothers said to him, shall we or shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Now, look, look at what is driving the hatred, his dreams and his words. They weren't just his words. They were the words of vision. He had a vision in a dream. Remember yesterday that I said, and quoting from Dr. Miles Monroe, that a vision is a clear picture of the future so what was happening here was that um, joseph was downloading clear pictures of the future clear pictures of the future and they hated him because he had a clear picture of the future and then he dreamed still another dream and he told this to his brothers and said look I have dreamed another dream, and this time the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bowed down to me. So he told it to his father and his brothers, and his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this that you have dreamed? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down to the earth to you? And his brothers envied him, but his father kept the matter in his mind. Now, I said something here that I want to lay emphasis upon again. And it is that in looking at this passage, I want to show you why you must see. Putting it accurately, you must see. And I want to show you why you must see. I want to show you the danger of not seeing. It's dangerous not to have a vision. It's dangerous to be visionless. No matter how little that vision is, it is still a blessing. And it is, it is important that you see. And we won't understand that until we begin to look at the contents of the vision or the dream that Joseph had. In the first dream, he saw his brothers in the field in the time of harvest. Obviously, that's a time when you're, you know, cutting your sheaves and you, you're cutting the harvest and probably wheat harvest or barley harvest and you tie it into sheaves and you literally lay it on the floor. And while all these were laid up, his sheave stood erect 
and his brother's sheep also stood erect and they bowed to his sheep and his brothers hated him because they said does this mean are you trying to tell us that you are going to reign over us is that what you're trying to say that you who so little is going to be our boss now that was the interpretation of the vision but they were wrong and then he had another dream and he saw the sun the moon and the 11 stars were bowing to him and he told this to his father and his brothers and his 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 father said are you telling me that your mother and i are going to bow down to the earth before you but his brothers that vision translated to envy but the father in spite of what he said kept it in his heart now so what do we find in the dreams of joseph uh, the 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 vision in the dream we find his brothers we find the sheaves we find the sun the moon and the stars symbolizing his parents and his brothers we also find timing the time element because when you look at the the sun the moon that's two plus his 11 brothers 11 plus 2 is 13 joseph ended up as a slave at the age of 17 and he became father to pharaoh prime minister in egypt at the age of 13 so the, if you look at numerology spiritual numerology you're seeing that even that was symbolic but this is what i want you to see and this is why you must see because other people's future is connected to your vision Woo! someone's future is locked up in your vision it's locked up in there now the vision the dreams that he had was not to lord it over his brothers but what he was saying was that he's going to come to an exalted position and his brothers and father and mother will find bearing because of his exaltation meaning that their future somehow is connected is enveloped in what he sees meaning that without joseph seeing his siblings his entire family would probably have died in the midst of the famine that they did experience this is the reason why you must see is the reason why you must see and let's look at it from its simplest you know you, 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 sim simplest you know um understanding imagine that you set up a business out of a vision so you you you, you had a vision to 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 produce ex is it um uh, uh, bread you know in whatever city you're in and you start a bakery you know probably from your house and as you so you you start alone and and over a period of time you have to employ two other people so you're employing two people and you're paying them a salary and they're sustaining themselves and maybe their family out of it now you can see the connection that because you saw a bakery other people came into the context of your bakery and they're having a means of livelihood that's the reason why you must see so imagine that you didn't see it means there will be no bakery and it means that those people may be roaming the streets hungry starving and in great difficulty all because you have no vision wow I mean, this, this is one of those sailor moments and, and it puts such a burden on responsibility on every single one of us that we must have a vision we must have a vision several years ago having pastored in the city of abuja god showed me the planting of lighthouse in the city of abuja and today we must thank god almighty for lighthouse and the impact it has made and i know that many of you watching um are a part of that vision so try and imagine what would happen if i never saw lighthouse in abuja just think about it just think about where you could have been some of you probably wouldn't have been saved some of you couldn't 
probably would not have renewed your faith in Jesus. Some of you probably wouldn't have been thriving. Many of you would probably have just been roaming around, meandering from one place to another. But because I saw a lighthouse in the city of Abuja, in that lighthouse, you have now come to be accommodated and it has become a place of spiritual instruction and training and doctrine and for deepening your spiritual roots and for prospering in many ways and bearing fruit upwards all because one man saw other people's view future is connected to your vision and some people can never have a future unless you see mm. I just want you to say after me, Father, in this season, I must see. My eyes must be open. I must have a compelling vision. I must see accurately. I must see rightly. Rebo Shakataya, can we just begin to pray there? Rebo Sakatala Brigeshikato Sakala Braga Shakataya. Le Brigado Sakala Braga Shikatola Bradegelebo Sakataya. Le Brigado Sakala Baja Gadala Brigade. Galabo Sakataya, Le Brigado Shakala Brega Seketo Shakala Prakataya, Le Brigado Sakala Braga Shakatala Brega Seketo Shakala Prakataya, Le Brega Begado Sakaya Braga Shakataya Kala Brega Seketosha. When we speak about vision, we're talking about an inner vision, seeing pictures on the inside, Reba Sakataya, seeing dreams, businesses that need to be born, Rebaga Shakataya Kala Brega Seketosha, seeing school that need to be built seeing ministries that need to be established seeing souls that need to be saved seeing nations that need to be built seeing young people that need to be educated seeing industries that need to be built Rebu Sakataya Kalabrega Seketo Shakalabraka Sakataya. Seeing orchards that need to be planted. Lebragabaga Sakataya Kalabrega Bege Seketosha. Seeing drug addicts that need to be taken off the streets. Yebaga Shakataya seeing houses that need to be built. Seeing economies in the, of, of people that needs to be built. Seeing people that needs to be encouraged. Ye kalebo sakataya. Libriga begedo shikalebriga bege seketo shakalaprakataya. Legalebriga bege. Singing farm lands that need to be irrigated, hectares and hectares, Yekelebo Shakataya, Lekelebrega Sokotosa, seeing families that need to be restored seeing children that need to be raised seeing orphans that need to be cared for seeing widows that need to be ministered to seeing divorced people that need to be strengthened seeing the hopeless that need hope seeing offices that need to be set up seeing technologies that need to be built lo brava dicho colo bradacha golusa perché ci chiedo sa che la brega ci chiedo sa le che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la brega ci chiedo la le che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la brega perché ci chiedo ia che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la brega ci chiedo sa che la baka chataya che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la braka chataya le che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la braka ba le che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che le brega perché ci chiedo sa che la braka perché ci chiedo sa che la braka chataya Legale brige bege dosa kaya kala braga baga jadala brige jige dosa legale brige bege jige dosa kala braz ge dosa kala brada legale brige bege dosa kala brige bege dosa kala braga baga daya legale brige bege dosa kala brige bege dosa kala brige bege dosa kala bata legale brige bege dosa kaya baga shakataya kala brize tuya legale brige bege dosa I must see legale brige bege dosa I must see clearly rebuga sukutu shik 
the future of others depends on me rebaga sakataya is the reason why i must see rebaga sakataya kalabrege sikitusha lord give me vision give me vision give me vision that is bigger than me rebuza kataya kalabrege bege sikitusha like joseph give me vision that includes hundreds and thousands of people rebaga sakataya give me vision that includes tens of people rabaga sakataya so that when i begin to build yekelebo sakataya my vision will provide accommodation. It will accommodate other people. It will be an incubation center. Le baga jigedo zagala bra jigedo sakatala garani rige jigedo zagala bra gaja gada ya galota. Le brigedo sa. Some people cannot have a future unless you see. Think about how many children have been born in hospitals. Think about if those hospitals did not exist. Think about how how many people would not be alive today think about how many people will be dead if medical science had not advanced to be able to spare lives that's why you cannot sit down and be redundant that's why you cannot sit down and be idle that's why the grace of god on the inside of you must find expression that's why you must do something that's why you must see something so that you can do something help me lord to see what i need to see so i can do the things that i need to do you must see something so you can do something you must see something so you can do something Remo sekele brige shikatala braga sakatala brige shiketoya ora ba shakataya hallelujah can we just begin to give the father thanks rebo sakataya we thank you father we thank you father we thank you my jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we thank you father thank you lord jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord for showing me that i must see yakalaba sakataya kalabu shakataya in my light others will have light in my in my vision Vision, others will have a future. Rebo sakatala brige shiketusa. Yegele brige bege sukutu shakala braga sakataya. Legele brige bege shukutu shakala braga shagadaya. Legele brige bege zuda gala braga shakataya. Remo zekele brige shigedo shakala braga shigedaya. We thank you, Father, and we give you praise. Ya kalabu shakataya. Father, I can only pray and ask, Lord, that you will cause them to see. Rema shakataya, cause them to understand this truth that some people would never have a future except they see except they see well except they have a vision except they have a dream except they can see a clear mental picture of the future help them to see father but a vision in their heart open their eyes father remove the scales from their eyes in the name of jesus like you did with paul and who or saul who became paul on the road to damascus the scales will eventually fall off his eyes the scales of judaism will call, fall off his eyes so that he can see jesus the lord thank you father 
give you thanks and praise wow this has been another exciting time it's been it's been a a, a, a i don't know what to call it it's, it's just been a great time in the presence of the lord hallelujah thank you father mm, there's there's someone out there and and you've you've battled with with an asthmatic condition for such a long time and the lord wants to heal you right now um wherever you are put your hand over over your 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 face um your your throat or wherever your chest and in the name of jesus i rebuke asthma i command you to die from its roots in the name of jesus i lose you from this infirmity in the name of jesus it dies never to return it dries up in the name of jesus amen 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 just do something to release your face breathing and breathe out in the name of jesus you say pastor what am i doing that you're breathing in the anointing you're breathing in the breath of god you're breathing in the power of god breathe in and breathe out in the name of jesus it's it's a it's a faith move it's a it's a faith step in the name of jesus and it leaves you never to return in the name of jesus amen hallelujah well we've come to the end of our broadcast and right now we're going to be making our confession and our declaration um you know, I'm just hearing in my spirit, he's the way maker, don't forget that. And even in that situation, he will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. There are marriage plans that I'm singing and there are challenges and hurdles that need to be crossed. Um, it's not just the financial part, but, there, but there's something about parents. That there's just some crisis going on. He is the way maker. He will make a way for you. He will clear the path for you and it will make all things good and beautiful well god bless you let's make a declaration uh, for today hallelujah glory to god forevermore in the name of jesus i have a vision for my life i am not in the dark but in the light my eyes are open to see what i has not seen my ears are open to hear what has not been heard i see into the future i live a purpose driven and a vision filled life i can see the future hallelujah what a blessing that is i can see the future i can see the future and may they see they may the future that you see become your reality in the name of jesus well we've come to the end of this broadcast and it's been an amazing time i thank god for you and i thank god for the privilege to have you here to be a part of the stand god bless you have a wonderful day in the name of Jesus. Amen.